Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do the next uh, crystal mission. I return to our ruined homeworld of Iron. The Zerg infestation still covered much of our beloved world. The desiccated remains of the Overmind were still there. A grim reminder of battles lost and battles won. Alright, let's go. I remember the fall of Ire. Don't much like the idea of having to see it all again. Guess there's nothing for it. At the very apex of its victory against us, the Zerg Overmind grew overconfident. Now, all that was left of the mighty Overmind was a twisted, withered husk. I needed to understand whatever memories lingered within the creature's rotting mass. Only by making contact with the gargantuan tendrils connected directly to its cortex could I learn its secrets. Yet its countless minions, which seemed to be feeding from its dead husk, would prove somewhat problematic. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. <clears throat> you don't get any access to any... Uh, Air units as of yet, even though it talks about flying units, but it's mostly talking about observers. <clears throat> um, other than that, there's uh, not much to say about this one. It's it's kind of simple, a little hard in the beginning. I must find a way to establish a foothold and summon reinforcements to keep the Zerg at bay. You can get the bird ones too now. This faithful observer has kept watch since the evacuation. Its abilities will certainly prove useful now. I'm just gonna get them all so we don't have to worry about them later. Alright, I think that's all of them. We must not hesitate. Hey cool, I can go down here. <laughs> I can go into the water. <clears throat> that's hilarious. Some of these abandoned structures remain functional. We shall make use of them. It always makes that weird pose. This ancient beacon still thrums with power. I wonder... I've heard tales of the mighty Colossi sealed away beneath Ire. The beacon must have awoken these fearsome guardians. The Zerg perceive a threat to their dead master. <clears throat> okay. I will erase the demon. That's kind of weird. How they just appear out of nowhere. The Zerg will keep coming until we are dead. I must find the Overmind's Cortex and discover what I can from it. I... Oh, there's another one. You can just go follow the other one, I don't really know. There we go. And now we're attacking. <clears throat> okay, not much else to do. Uh, we can start the research. Gonna need a buttload of probes, not gonna lie. If we use our observers wisely, we can scout the area before putting ourselves at risk. Yeah, I'm just going up here for a second. And let's see. Alright, well I guess we'll just attack some of them. These warp gates appear to be functional. Perhaps there's a chance. 
The first overmine tendril. I sense pain, surprise, death. All right, not much we can do about that one. We'll just go down here for a moment. You done, Zertal? We must be prepared to defend our base. The Zerg are on the move. Okay, that's uh, that's the key uh, word right there. It means they're going to attack right now. Those two cannons usually go down. Don't worry too much about them. Oh, wow, they actually got that pylon. Okay, that surprised me. Alright, well, I'll just make like two more. Not a big deal. And then we then we take one probe and we head up here for a good reason. That is uh, to grab the base that is up here. Actually, I don't think I need that many on gas. I will need more gas eventually. All right. Oh, uh, the obelisk is right there. So we'll grab that. A few more probes. Uh, but I'll go down there. And let's bring them all back. Alright, and we just want to hug the side here because we don't actually want to engage. There's like needlelists over there. We currently don't really have a effective means of taking care of them. We were trapped within the gate's energy matrix when it was deactivated. You have our thanks. For I and we just keep taking out these guys. You require Not a huge problem. All as one. I hate the leg. Oh well. And there's a crap ton of resources here, which we will definitely be using. Uh, let's do the armor next. And we make a robotics just at the back here. You also have to watch that frenzy counter, because uh, that's uh, obviously when they're going to frenzy. Let me just bring the stalkers up here. Yeah, I know there's a you know, there's a whatever guy there. I don't really care about him, though. And we're going to go attack the next area, <coughs> which is right down here. And we actually get warp gates as well, which is also really nice. And yeah, we'll go get these things, some of these things. Get that guy back. And that's pretty much it for that. You just keep them following. Don't don't put them in any danger. And there's a robotics facility right there just to get you started off. It's actually quite nice. Uh, however, we will not be going too much into that. We're going to just uh, primarily have it. We'll get it after the, the next attack, which is like really soon. Seek to overwhelm us. To we now have to head back. Brethren. We have to go back right now. We do get storm and stuff, so you know it's not that all that bad. I and we use and we use uh, Zero Tool just to get the one of the side things here to attack. Oh. I'm not sure if that actually works. Looks like it does. There we go. So now we only have to deal with them coming from one direction. And we can just storm the hell out of most of them anyways, but they're not actually coming, so that's okay. All dead. Okay. Uh, let's get a probe and bring his ass up here. We get a bunch of things to power up. Uh, okay. Get one there. And then one over here. And go grab that. Come back down here, and we're pretty much done with that. We don't want to overextend ourselves too much right now. Oh, actually, wait. Sorry. We want this one. Uh, we just want to actually get these guys to go and kill that. But these guys can actually come down here, because there's some things that they can kill down there. Which is kind of cool. 
You have more than enough money right now. Alright, let me just get grab that. And we're gonna now pump out Colossi. And this is one of those cases where uh, you actually build exactly the unit you get. Uh, and that's that's the winning combination. Very easy to win this one. Alright, we also need now uh, this thing. I got enough minerals there. And we need more gas. Gas is something that's really in short supply here. Mostly because you have all these like little boosts over here. They're kind of weird. I think that's pretty much it. There's one over here I right know, but uh, I'm just gonna wait until the after the next wave, because I'm not sure if they attack it. I'm a little worried. I know they'll sometimes be jerks. And then after a couple of colossi, we will then go and uh, begin our actual real attack. See, as long as it's uh, neutral, then uh, they're not going to attack it. And I'm missing Harvester there. I didn't even notice. Okay. There's another base up here, uh, if you really so desire it, but uh, generally you shouldn't need it. You address me? And I don't think you'll attack. Uh, the Zerg seek to overwhelm our base. This is just where I build all the pylon farms up, up here. You always need a dedicated place for pylon farms. Ten seconds. Come on. All right. Uh, wait There we go. And this could be him. There we go. That's quite nice. Are they coming up here? No, they're not. All done. Okay. That's enough. Let's go. Start killing some Zergs. We go there first because it is slightly easier. Well, at least in my opinion. Uh, and we'll also go grab this while we're at it. And he can go back to mining. Another Colossus. Another Colossus. I should probably hotkey both of these. What are you doing? Why are you humping the wall? There you go. And they're just going to do their own thing. Uh, and that's the reason we don't want to really bring Zero to along, but he can, he can go tag behind. They won't attack, luckily, in between that. It's pretty much them telling you that exactly they're not going to even try to go after you. you require more Vespine gas. And now we're already having gas issues. And we can just add that one in number four. But don't worry, they'll they'll get taken down. Uh, I don't know if that's a don't worry situation, but uh, uh that's an infested command center that you can mine from. But there is a little bit of things you can do here. We're just gonna make sure that uh they take out most of this, and Zeratul will help out a little bit. I mean, he's here for a reason. Uh, you guys should just come up here. But they're not going to, are they? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of resources I need. Alright. Take out that. There you go. I, I kind of don't want to move in right now. And we'll get the other one with Void Prism. Alright, get him down here. The second over my tendril. I sense death and joy. Alright. Uh no, we can't really get the other one, so we're gonna just run right back. I it's kind of nice that you can kind of jump up here. Oh, look at all the freaking colossi I have. All right. <laughs> That's what makes it all very nice. 
the demons of the past. We don't even need to be here anymore. Uh, guess we'll just get some fodder zealots. Might as well. The Zerg are coming. I know, that's why I'm here. Now, I'm fairly certain that they actually come from up here. And Zeratul will just be down here, just in case. We'll see. You just watch your map. And now. Okay, nope. Down there. Oh, well, they're, they're kind of coming up here. Alright, let's head back down. Oh, well. Cannons. Oh, uh, right, that. Uh, we're gonna have to wait. Oh, actually, no, 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 we're no, no, we're not, because uh, we're going up there anyways. You require my skill. Yeah, I'll just keep these guys here. That's a that's an ass load of colossi right there. We can make some more. Except we should have gotten another thing than shields. All right, let's go. Let's see, maybe we can finish this. If there's something you can do, I think it's possible on at, at most hard. Holy crap, okay. Um, basically, you can make him blink at the very beginning between all the bases, having nothing around, and you just void prism uh, detectors in certain places. It takes a lot of practice. But it actually allows you to, uh, to beat it within like 20 seconds. I, I actually have that. Uh, I tried. I attempted to do it on Brutal because I was going to show it off in case he didn't actually care about the research. Uh, but it, it looks a fair bit more difficult. There's like a lot of Ultralisks near some of these things. So I opted to, to not do it. I love the laser beams. Oh, what the hell? He's not even here. Oh, we'll just keep going to the next one. Oh right, I forgot about this. Oh wait, there's... It's because there's a thing here. Alright, run away. The third over mine tendril. I sense... Satisfaction. The plan set in motion long ago. And... Alright, Sir Tool, get up here. We need you up here. Come on. Our base falls under a shadow. The Zerg will attack soon. That's okay, we're done. The fourth over my tendril. I sense an end. I must go to the Overmind Cortex to understand. That's a lot of Colossi. Gotta love them. Greetings, brother. I speak to you from the beyond. Tassadar. But you died slaying this cursed Overmind. I have never tasted death, Zeratul, nor shall I. But that is a tale for another time. I have come to tell you of this creature's courage. Courage? It was an abomination. Not always. The Zerg were altered. A single overriding purpose was forced upon them. The destruction of our people. The Overmind was formed with thought and reason, but not free will. It screamed and raged within the prison of its own I'm really sorry about this choppiness, guys. It's a piece of shit. Who did this? Why? I know not. But 
the Overmind found a way to resist its all-consuming directive. It created a chance, a hope of salvation. The Queen of Blades. Madness. Sparta. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this hard drive out the window. That's it's recording on because it's that it's dying. Only she can free the serve from slavery, and in so doing, save all that is from the flame. Stand, brother. Forget what you know, Zeratul. The Overmind saw a vision. The end of all things. And now, you must see it too. It's a, it's a vision within a vision. Vigeception? <laughs> no. This vision... I cannot bear it. Stop. All right. Well, wow, less than 20 minutes and I was 40 48 seconds over. So, you know, if you're a little faster than me, then uh you get that one too. Getting Zeratul to kill 50 Zerg units not the toughest thing. You just get him in into the fights a lot more. I just kind of kept him behind. <clears throat> That's what I do with most of the heroes. Noob noodles, call down the flavor. <laughs> you look haunted. You've been seen into the spirit world, and you learn something you don't like. It's Kerrigan. Seems the Overmind made Kerrigan to free the Zerg from something. Put him on a collision course with the Protoss. It's all gone wrong. Everything's twisted. And there's something out there that's set to destroy us all. Zerg. Protoss. He's a strong recess. How terrible. How powerful is something that plays with their feats? Let's see the lab. I know I didn't get anything new, but uh, you know, we'll check it out anyways. I think we're about uh two slots away. Yeah, like one slot and then two slots. That's real nice. Of the armory. You know. I've been watching the logs. Those damn Protoss are still way ahead of us. I can't believe some of the stunts they can pull off. Tell me about it. They've learned some new tricks since the last time we fought. I mean, come on. Since when could they warp in guys just anywhere? I thought they needed some kind of gateway at least. Not just anywhere. They need a pylon or another power source close by. Still, they've been working to improve their tech just like us. Yes, they have. Get a bridge. Damn, Matt. I don't even know what to make of this last vision from the crystal. Zeratul was looking for more clues about the end of the universe. But this time, he was on Ire. Ire? What was he looking for? He was trying to find out why the Overmind made the Queen of Blades in the first place. She's the one that's gonna destroy the universe? <sighs> no. That's just it. I think she's the only one that can save it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Alright, I guess we'll go to the armory. Or no, no. I think we're done now. So we got the last Protoss mission last, which is, uh, well, next Protoss, last mission Protoss next, and, uh, that one's going to be a little bit of a doozy, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I'm going to throw this hard drive out a window, and I'm going to make sure this is fixed for next time. So, goodbye.